For storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So I know it'll be colder tomorrow, right, Josh? Just a little bit, just a tad cooler, and a lot yeah. is going to deal with the cloud cover, which when we started off the day today, we didn't have much of it, but as we went through the afternoon, those clouds really started to come back in. Take a look at how it looked like on the time lapse, looking off to the west from downtown San Angelo. Little camera on top of the Cactus Hotel there, looking off to the west. There we go. From downtown San Angelo, a few high clouds working in, and then as we went towards sunset, had a lot of these cirrus clouds. You kind of saw a halo around the Sun. And if you think back to maybe what your grandfather or your grandmother told you, when you see that, that's usually an indicator of rain, and it's due to just moisture working into the area. It's what we call a sun dog sometimes. And when you see that, again, that's moisture working in the area, and that signifies some changes that are on the way. You couldn't tell today, though. Today was a little bit cooler than yesterday. We got to a high of 63. Our low is 37. Average was 59. <laughs> low on average should be at 33 degrees. It's been as warm as 90 in 1969 and as cold as 11 in 1979. We aren't going to be anywhere near those numbers. We're going to be closer to averages, but still just a little bit above. Clouds are increasing tonight. We already have a few showers showing up on radar that we'll show you shortly. A cooler midweek is on the way thanks to the cool air that's working in right now, bringing us also some decent rain chances and another cold front will bring us a cool weekend. Take a look at the live radar network currently because we do have a few showers showing up off to the west. These are working into areas like Fort Stockton, also towards Big Lake and Ozona. Hard to tell if this is really reaching the ground. There's a lot of dry air in the lower levels of the atmosphere, but in the mid levels, it's just completely saturated, completely humid up there. And that's why we're seeing a few of these elevated showers. It is possible some of that reaches the ground as we go through tonight. I'm not holding my breath on it, but don't be surprised if you get a few sprinkles by the time we wake up in the morning. Otherwise, it's a little bit cooler right now. 49 degrees in San Angelo. The cool air is still sitting way up to our north. 34 in Amarillo and Lubbock is 60 degrees currently in Austin and 67 in Corpus Christi here in the Contra Valley, mainly dealing with those low 50s, upper 40s, 46 in St. Lawrence out in Glasscock County, 47 in Ballinger, 49 in Menard, 46 in Ozona, and 54 currently in Junction. This is what I'm talking about, though, that dry air sitting in the lower levels of the atmosphere. I think that's going to cause a lot of this rain to evaporate, but it will eventually moisten up our atmosphere a little bit more, and that will lead to the potential for a few showers as we head into tomorrow. Winds currently out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. You see it's all associated with this little wave of moisture that's going to move across tonight. That's what's bringing our clouds back up. Our cold front is actually pushed down to Houston now. We've got another one sitting to our north, and that's going to try to move south, not really cause a ton of issues. What we're going to be watching very closely is this system coming in from the Pacific that you'll see in just a little bit. A few showers possible tomorrow. It says we get into Thursday night and into Friday that our best rain chances arrive as this upper level low moves overhead. Temperatures are going to be in the 50s most of the week, but when that thing moves ahead, that's when our better rain chances are. Some drier air may start to work in by the time we get into Friday afternoon. Models are still kind of wavering on it. If that happens, we'll see a quicker end to the showers. If not, we'll be dealing with them most of the day on Friday. And then dry air definitely wraps around on Saturday, bringing a few spots of sunshine on Saturday. Sunday, another week disturbance tries to work across, bringing us just a few showers on Sunday. And then our other disturbance getting organized there by the Pacific gives us a chance of rain as we head into Tuesday. So there's the rain chances I've got right now. Got about a 20% chance tomorrow. It's not a huge chance, but just take the umbrella with you. Better chances tomorrow evening, a 20% chance on Thursday, 70% chance on Friday. Friday, you're going to want the rain boots, maybe the jacket and an umbrella, 20% chance on Sunday, although Saturday looks dry. How much rain are we talking about? Maybe half an inch to an inch. Not really a big rain for us, but still, any sort of rain is good rain for us, especially because we're heading in, or we're in one of our drier months right now. There in January is before we head into spring, so we'll take any rain we can get, maybe half an inch to an inch, out of this system. Tonight, though, temperatures falling down into the upper 30s and a few lower 40s out there. A bit cooler in those lower river valleys. I'm talking about down along 190, maybe over there in Coke County as well, 36 there. And then tomorrow, I'm expecting those high temperatures to get up into the 50s. 38 tonight in San Angelo, mostly cloudy with northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for your Wednesday, a, low, a high of 53, rather, mostly cloudy with some evening showers, only about a 20% chance of rain. And as you take a look at that extended forecast, those better rain chances coming in Friday. That's when we got that 70% chance of rain, 52 Saturday, 49 Sunday. And then we kind of cool off, or we uh, rather get back into the 50s a little bit there Monday. Our next system arises as we head towards the middle of next week, and that brings us a 20% chance of rain on Tuesday. But right now, Friday looks like the wettest day. Be ready. Could be a day where we see some rumbles of thunder. Definitely a day you want that umbrella. Definitely, and it'll be chilly too. A little so. bit on the chilly side. All right, thanks, Josh. Coming up on KSAN News, the new year is bringing a big change for many to look, many looking to buy an electric vehicle.